So, uh, this is pretty weird if you guys can tell. There's three of these people right here and they're all wearing the same outfit. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to make of this. Alright, so what is going on everybody? Deadly Raven here and welcome back to episode 5 of our project Nevermore Iron Man series. In this episode, we are going to be doing a shit ton of Slayer tasks in the wilderness, hoping for two things. We're hoping to get enough emblems to get a rune pouch finally, as well as we are also going to be going for the herb bag, which is the final item that we need. We're currently sitting at 77 Slayer with 131k XP to go. Uh, combat's almost at 90 strength and 70 attack and 70 defense are pretty close to leveling up. This one's at 4k XP until 71 defense and we're at uh, 22k XP until 71 attack. Fire making has been what I've currently been focusing on lately and if you guys can tell on the screen with the tracker we have gained 535k XP since the last time I streamed. We're currently at level 97 with only 100k XP left until 98 so by the end of this episode I'll probably get 99 but I'm going to be going through all the raw food that I've been getting from Winter Todd to eventually cook it and go start Slayer. I don't really want to go buy tuna uh, potatoes with cheese so I'm just going to finish up all the food that I have here and then we'll get gear up, start streaming and head over to our first Slayer task. We currently have 154 trolls, which is gonna be absolute aids. The insult heads should be pretty good for uh, prayer because we're almost 70 prayer for that as well. But uh, yeah, let's get to work boys and I'll catch you guys when we finish cooking all this food. All right, so our prayer has been restored. We're fully geared up. Let's head over now to the, these dudes over here. They're in Birthorp and let's get cracking with our 154 troll task. We have, yep, there we are. Uh, we've kill, assigned trolls to kill, 154 more to go. Awesome. To our last troll for this task, whichever one we can attack. I guess this one here, perfect. So we're gonna hit him at the same time as he hits us, right? Knee, block, hit him back, there we go. One more hit right now, both of us at the same time. And then another hit right there, cool. Done, so let's go recharge our prayer now. And the glory, rip. So I'm just gonna take the glory teleporter out to Edgeville and let's go do some Slayer in the Wildy. I'll catch you guys at our first task. 86 Dark Warriors. Okay, great. Uh, Dark Warriors. I'll look up where they are. For a Slayer task in the Wilderness. Make sure you go upstairs in the second floor of this castle because these guys are level 8. They're not high level 145. These dudes are level 8, so they're very easy to kill. See? Boom. Easy. Wildy Clues OP. Wildy Clues. Go here. All the guys in the second floor are level 8. Just keep plucking them off. We have uh, 80 of them left. So unlike the last Zami video when I did the Wildy Clue, he dropped a looting bag as well. But this time, I'm actually paying enough attention to pick it up. So we got a looting bag, boys. Perfect. That was easy. That was like 10 kills in. So here we are, guys. Last uh, Dark Warrior to kill. And we're going to be done this task. First Wilderness task. So one Wilderness task. We're to stay back. I think you get points after 5. So we're just going to keep... Pumping these out one by one. We got a looting bag, nine night eight rooms, and four chaos room. Bonk loot. Wilderness, Crystalia, hook us up, girl. The 87 rogues. Ooh, that's a. Uh, I don't know. I gotta look where that is. I don't think that's too far deep. So we're now creepily walking by the rogues' castle. We're gonna enter here. We're gonna pick them off one by one. So um, let's uh, just kill these level 15 ones. It should be fine, I think. <laughs> I don't wanna have the big ones. Will be. We just got our first mysterious emblem. We've almost gone PK like five times. So I'm gonna pick that up here. Oh, now I really want to bank because I want that. I'm about to get PK and I have nothing on me. So look. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck! I just lost my D skim. I just lost my D skim. <laughs> you fucking kidding? 
I wasn't actually gonna kill you, man. I lost my DC. <laughs> Send me Anku, that's me. But where the fuck do you find Anku in the wilderness? Third uh, task in the wilderness, guys. We have 15 HP to make it out of here. Whoa. Let's go. Um... Perfect. Easy little board to Edgeville. And now we can go get our next task. One of seven Hellhounds. Well, fuck. Guess we're doing it, boys. Rip. We're going to take 10,000 years. Lol. Be cares. Hopefully they don't touch me. Okay, so they literally got nothing. So, so it's like, okay, I got wrecked for some lobsters and some... Actually, this just, make it, this just made it quicker for me to get here. Thank you, PKers. Lol. All right, next task here. Let's see what we're going to get. Crystalia. That's such a weird name. Why would they decide that? We got 117 rogues. Yes, let's go to level 55,000 wilderness all over again. Feels good, man. Feels good. So uh, I just finished up my uh, ice uh, warrior task and we're standing right over here and I see all these supplies on the floor. So if anybody wants to come get them, let me just send that to my discord chat right now. Uh, one second. But yeah, basically we're done this task, guys, and uh, I will be right back and I'm going to continue now. Go back to Edgeville and get another task. The wilderness is this dangerous, dangerous. Place. All right, let's go get another task from Crystalia and she is going to give us 100. Oh, fuck's sake. Another massive hellhound task in level 51 wilderness. Rip. We got another slayer enchantment, guys. But no fucking emblems from this task. So hopefully we get luckier with the next one. And if not, I guess the grind is just going to continue on. Alright, so we're standing back in Edgeville, guys. And to be honest, this I, I don't want to do a hellhound task. Everybody tells me this is like one of the worst tasks to get while you're in the wilderness. So I'm hoping that we get something a lot easier. We're still five tasks done in a row. And uh, hopefully we get something easy i mean i just want to get, boost this quickly for points and the chance for emblems should be quick, pretty quick as well oh i didn't realize that sound effects on we have 69 points left so our new task is going to be 94 or you know that's not bad that's an edgeville dungeon those are pretty easy to flick i'll take that way better than the hellhounds because this one actually can go by pretty quick and if it's going to drop an emblem it will drop it anyway so what i'm going to do is i'll bank uh, the arty cloak since we don't need that i'll keep a glory amulet with me and i can just teleport up here when i'm done the task so let's get this Let's go and let's go to the underground. It's drops like this that give me an incentive to keep doing these cancer tasks in the wilderness. And whenever I get these emblems, I get really ecstatic because it's just taking me one step closer to that room pouch. I think we need like between 20 to 25. So every time you get one, it's just like a sigh of relief. So hopefully we'll get a couple more doing this task. And you like, and I've been getting pretty lucky. Basically, I've been getting either an emblem per task or like a slayer enchantment per task. And honestly, I'd rather have the emblems. But instead of going to the wilderness and doing the demi bosses, we're just going to be doing it through the tasks so let's finish up these guys and hopefully we get more emblems guys and i was this close to stopping uh wilderness slayer oh my god guys we got another emblem that's three now and we got it like oh my god <laughs> sick okay sometimes i'm hoping i'm just gonna get another one back to back but let's just escape here edgeville and bank it perfect so now that makes three emblems completed guys and we are almost uh let's see here there we are two emblems put the third one R looting bag i have no use for it at all but when I decide to become an ultimate Iron Man, I will have a use for that. Yes, settled. If you're watching this, it's going to be happening sooner than later, my friend. Yeah, right. Lo no fucking way. I just got back here. I got another emblem. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to kill him. If I get another emblem here, I'm going to lose my... Sh okay, there's no chance. Okay, there come on. No way. Lol, I'm gonna go bank. Banking another emblem. <laughs> what the fuck? Guys, that's three emblems in like 30 Earth Warriors. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Let's talk now to Crystalia. Six wilderness tasks are done. We have another 25 points. So basically, 99. Ooh, green dragons. That's a sick task. Perfect. So as you guys know now, it's basically every time you go in the wilderness and every time you get a task, whenever you cancel it, you lose 30 points. But you also gain 25 points per task. So it's not too bad of a trade-off, I find. It's like, okay, yeah, sure, you'll go through a bit of points, but it's not really that much to where it's going to really hinder your account that badly and you'll be losing points. Because every five, you get a shit ton of points. Therefore, I would highly recommend doing this, one, for emblems, and then for two, just for overall drops. I mean, now we're going to be going to do green dragons. Obviously, um, hardcore Iron Man can't do this. But this isn't too bad. Like, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I don't get VK too many times. And then we're just going to bank all the all the bones. I'll bring my looting bag as well. And then we'll probably go to the spot by the corp. So, catch you guys there.
We are finished with uh, this last green dragon on this task. Hopefully, we get an emblem from this. We didn't get anything from these guys. Just a lot of uh, bones and dehydes, as to be expected. No hard clues, nothing of the sort. And seven wilderness tasks done. We got 25 points. We're not 119. So, uh, let's go back to Edgeville and let's get a new task. All right, guys. So, these little bear kills are going by very slowly. So, guess what bear resides in the wilderness that's very high level? That's right. We're going to go try Callisto for the first time on this account. I mean, if I'm an Iron Man, I might as well do some dangerous stuff, right? Let's go get some uh, diamond bolts made, and then uh, we'll have some fun with this. Yes, we got him trapped, I think. Okay. 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 Okay, sick. We got him trapped. So one kill is per entire inventory of food. Makes sense. One eternity later. Lol, wrecked. What do we keep? So, um, idea how AIDS uh, bandits were. So we're gonna cancel this task and uh, hopefully we get something that's actually doable. Rewards, uh, tasks, cancel task. And we're gonna get assignments, Earth Warrior. So I got four emblems from those, so I'm down for that. All right guys, so here we are. We're done with uh, the, <clears throat> we're done with the Earth Warrior task. And this time we got a hundred bears. Oh my God, <laughs> back to the bears again. Fuck it, Callisto incoming next stream. I'm gonna get all the stats for it. I'm gonna get 85 range. I'm gonna get uh, ranging potions made. And we're just gonna camp the fuck out of Callisto. Now, those stats that I mentioned on the video, on the last clip where I said I'm gonna get 85 range and uh, 72 herb lore for, let's scroll down here, 72 herb lore for the ranging potion. I might've been a little, um, I might've shot a little bit too high for those goals, but I have been having my kingdom running for the last little while. And I think that's about 10 days or so. And I just wanna see about exactly how much uh, seeds and stuff we've collected. So I wanna have this clip on here. I've dumped about like one mil on the kingdom. So let's see what this guy's gonna have for us to offer. Check resource allocation first. We have 428k. So we came here with about a mil. So it's been uh, it's been 10 days on the dot. So let's uh, collect resources. And we got 5,000 maple logs, 30 bird. That is a lot of bird nests. Oh my god. We have 52 quorms, 150 hairlanders, a lot of erites, Avento, Terramin, Dwarf, 42 rainar weeds. That's a lot of prayer potions. Lanthodimes, Guam seeds, Terramin. Is there any rainar seeds? And we're, okay, so the seeds we got aren't really too good, but that is a lot of supplies. Holy crap. Let me just take a screenshot of that quickly. And this is, so this is about 10 days worth of kingdom with the percentage dipping down from 100% uh, down to 97, which was the lowest that I got it when I was slaying. So let's, um, I'm going to go get all, okay, I should tell you to deliver the resources. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this rate going. The maple logs I can use for either fire making or more than likely I use it for fletching because it's just some free XP. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results that we got from this. So I'm going to wrap up today's episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I did take a bit of a break and I was waiting for the new computer to be built. But uh, it, I wasn't too lucky for me because I forgot a cooler for the CPU. And that's uh, going to be coming in tomorrow or the day after. So the new computer should be up and running. Today is Sunday. It should be up and running by Monday or uh, by Tuesday or Wednesday. And once that's all set up, I'm going to probably start streaming some other games and pumping out some more PogChamp content. So for now, guys, I will catch you guys later. And we're going to go back to Edgeville and prepare for Callisto. I'm just kidding. We're just going to go through all the logs because this is the closest bank that we have here. I'm not sure if we're going to do Callisto just yet based on the fact that we got BK'd last time we were there. But I am definitely going to start shooting towards hunting some bosses in good old wilderness. Thank you guys for so much for tuning in. And this is Raven. Peacing out. Goodbye for now, guys.